Hi, I'm Aaron. Welcome to More Than The Sum. I made a solar powered parking sensor and now I'm going to show you how I did it. The circuit is pretty simple. All we needed was an LED strip, an ultrasonic sensor, and an Arduino Nano. I set it up really quick and programmed it so I could test it out and make sure everything worked. One of the things I was worried about was that the front of the car was angled and I wasn't sure if the sensor would work well with that. And then it shuts off after the car parks. Once I was happy with how it worked, I moved it over to a permanent breadboard so I could just do a direct transfer of the circuit. I added header pins so I could remove the Arduino Nano to reprogram it and I put in quick connectors for all the other components so it could be easily moved. The last thing to do was to solder in a power connector to feed power to the 5 volt pin and the ground pin of the Arduino as well as the components. I like to cover the exposed connectors using liquid electrical tape. I picked a height that worked for the ultrasonic sensor and made sure it was level. I tested it out with the car to ensure that it all works still, especially with the curved surface of the car. Once it did, I went ahead and drilled some holes and fed the wire through the door so that I could install the, the rest of the circuit behind. I put the control circuit into an enclosure to easily mount it in place. and test it out again to make sure everything worked. The light coming from the LED strip has a pretty narrow viewing angle and so to improve that I designed and 3D printed a diffuser for the LEDs to make them more visible. And you can see here that diffusing the LEDs makes a pretty big difference. I mounted the LED strip in a place where it would be visible directly in front of the driver and wouldn't be up above or below their field of view. I had two 5 volt panels that were 2.5 watts each. I soldered them in series to make it 10 volts 5 watts, which met the needs of the charge controller I was using.
I have a good spot for these solar panels with lots of direct sunlight in the metal roof there. Um, I mounted them using just double sided tape. Hopefully it's strong enough, we'll see what's the winds pick up around here. Last thing to do was to hook up the charge connector. There wasn't really an easy way to do it the way I wanted to, so I soldered some wires onto the back, and I used these Wago lever nuts to, so that I could expand it in the future and power more things with it. So this is the power controller, you have power coming up in the top side there, in the bottom I have the output connected to those lever nuts going out to the Arduino plus any other future projects. There's a charge level indicator and then a power in indicator right there. On the side here there's a switch also that you could use to disconnect the battery. The battery here was draining a lot quicker than it should have been overnight when it wasn't in use and I think the solar panels were drawing that current and because there wasn't a blocking diode on the circuit as I thought there was so I added one in before the power to prevent that current from flowing back into the solar panels. All that was left to do was to test it out and see if it worked. I was pretty happy with it and got the car exactly where I needed it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.